Hello and welcome my name's Sam and this is the Little Greenhouse Creates. Thank you for joining me today and thank you for joining me for this bumper stamp set of the week. Uh, the stamp set of the week is Country Birdhouse and when I say bumper we are going to get um, more than the normal three videos this week but I will explain that to you as we move on through making the card so first of all as usual this is the stamp set that we are focusing on this week uh, country birdhouse it has 13 stamps in total so as I normally do on a Monday is I stamp out all of the let's move this card out of the way stamp out all of the images and um, we have 10 images in total that are um, based around the bird and the birdhouse and then we have three sentiments so we have the house in total a little bird a set of flowers um, some speckles a chain some little bit of detail excuse me and then we have three sentiments hello friend hope you're having the best day ever and happy birthday now let's move that over a bit so you can actually see what I'm talking about there we go so keep it on camera always a good idea um it also comes with dies and this comes with a total of 23 dies so today I actually cut them all out just so I knew what I was doing now out of the dies there are a number that match the stamp set so you've got this one here which matches this house here uh, we've got the bird obviously which stamps out that bird um do, 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 number nine which is that little flower there two is let's move those over you've got two little flowers so you've got two and three those two flowers there and number five is that section of flower there so they all come with being cut out but plus you've got all the extras so you've got the roof the trough the stand um, the spy hole for the dicky bird to fly in and out uh, and you've got lots of leaves and also different other flowers so not only do we have those with this particular stamp set but they actually come also in the bundle you can purchase this designer series paper now it normally comes in 12 by 12 but just so it's easier for me to handle I've actually cut it down to 6 by 6 and this is called Country Woods Designer Series Paper. Uh, there are six on the front one. And they're all like wood grain effects. Uh, three, four, five, and then six. And then of course, if you turn them all over, we have lighter wood grain versions here. Um, really really nice designer series paper I uh, can see myself doing a lot with this uh, so watch out I mean I don't know if you see a couple of weeks back I did a scrapbook page and that had this paper on so yes it's not just a good idea for cards but it would be ideal for the scrapbooking as well so as I say this is the card that we're creating so let's bring in our supplies so I have got uh, balmy blue that measures eight by five and three quarters I have a piece of thick with thick white card stock which measures three and three quarters by five and a half I have a second piece that measures three and a quarter by five and a half I have a piece of the designer series paper we've just seen uh, that's three quarters of an inches by five and a half and that will fit down the page like that and I have used one of the tiny dies of a flower so the first thing we're going to focus on is the actual picture of the birdhouse now the way I found the easiest to do is work from the bottom up so I started with the sentiment so today's sentiment is going to be speedy recovery I'm going to stamp that in the night of navy whoops so ink pad to stamp as it's so large Aha! oh that was close nearly managed to cover myself in it just the paper okay let's just wipe that down two seconds 
and wipe that off my board. I'm just going to stamp this so we don't have a total disaster. There we go. There we are, speedy recovery. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this page off. And then I've got clean to work on. Okay, so that's the speedy recovery. Ah, do you like that? Okay, so that's the first thing. Speedy recovery, stamped out. Now I'm going to use the actual bird house. And again, I'm going to use the Knight of Navy. There we go. And that will then come over there and pop that down so it is that now that's that one and then I've got a chain which is where we can hang the birdhouse with and that's that that's going to go on the top there we are perfect look at that okay um, and then all we got to do now is to pop in the dicky bird into the house now what I've done is I've taken a piece of um, post-it note torn it in half because um, I don't really need to go all the way around the circle so I'm going to pop that bit there and then I'm going to pop that bit into there then I've got my little dicky bird and I'm going to stamp him in the pebble path. So let's do that. And then I can pop him in the little house like so. There we go. And then when I remove those, you can see that he's sitting quite happily with inside his house lovely right so we're just going to color these in now um so the first thing we're going to do is let's have a look let's do the dark down here and i'm going to use the light berry blueberry bushel so as it so happens this week my upline jenny mccormack and you may know her as gemini crafts um is actually doing the same stamp set of the week as myself so uh, in discussions this um, at the weekend we decided that we would have a share of videos so not only will i host these videos on my page um, jenny very kindly is going to share a link on her page so that you get her customers and uh, people that watch get to see my videos and I shall do likewise uh, Jenny's first one should appear on my page tomorrow Tuesday uh, there we go right um, so it's it just gives you more ideas of what you can do with this brilliant stamp set now so now that I've colored that in I'm going to bring in they've got a wood grain here and I'm going to stamp that in the Knight of Navy just across the top like so so obviously if you're watching this on YouTube um, you will need to pop over to my Facebook page which is the little greenhouse creates um, and there you will get all five videos by the end of the week so that's the first one so you can just see the wood grain there Let's see if I can bring this up just see the wood grain there we go perfect the wood grain on there and then what i'm going to do is color in the scallops on the top of the bird house she might be better to use a thinner end so don't forget to come back each day to see whether it's mine <laughs> Or Jenny's videos that we'll be playing but there should be one each day this week right so just coloring these in now the reason I'm doing it this way rather than 
stamping and then colouring is sometimes can bleed and I didn't want that to happen because uh, obviously these are alcohol markers right then I've got like these little scallops oops there we go on here um, again I'm going to stamp those up in the night of navy first one goes on the first four scallops there we go the one at the top is left out and then we've got the next four that go here perfect okay let's just clean that for a second now, once you have coloured it all in with your colours, I have used, what have I used? Let's have a look. So this one is the light blueberry bushel. Then we've got the lemon lime twist, uh, balmy blue, and our little bird is in dark and light calypso coral. Now, once you've coloured it all in, that's when you bring in your embossing folder. And I've got the wood grain embossing folder here. Um, making sure that the line is along facing upwards with the little square says stamping up. Then you know it's the correct way up. I'm going to pop my card into there. And then I shall run it through my bossed and cut machine. So bear with me for a second while I do that. And we're back. So I've run that through. Peel it up over there. There we go. So now we have the wood grain of the card, like so. Okay, so the next thing to do is to bring our um, card base. Now, this is, as I say, eight by five and three quarters, and I need to score it at the four inch mark. Bear with me for a second. I dropped the. Uh, scoring tool so going from the four inch i just score all the way down and then we can burnish with my bone folder okay now before we do any sticking down we need to cut off half an inch from the front of the card i'll bring in my trimmer go all the way along to the half inch mark and then I'm just going to be brave and cut it off okay so you've got this gap here then taking our largest of the two pieces of white cardstock and our piece of designer series paper we're actually going to glue it to the side like so um, i'm going to use my multi-purpose for this because that way it allows me to give it a little bit of wriggle room we're just going to have the bootsy bark in a second as there is somebody approaching my front door um, thankfully my boys are in so they will be able to answer the door but that never stops the Bootsy announcing it to the rest of the world. There we go. Okay. So that goes to there. Oh, maybe they've muzzled her and <laughs> she doesn't realise. Okay. So, as I say, down to the edge of the page. Give itself some wriggle room. Don't really want any white showing either end or on that edge. But obviously you don't want it pushed over too much so because you've got the glue you can just tap it down like so and then it is in place there we go that can now be stuck down and put inside our card so let's put the glue on there come on you there we go so that now goes on the inside of my card base and 
that sits like that. Perfect. So when you put it over, it gets that little bit to peek through. You can then put our picture main focal part onto there. Now obviously what we want to try and do is get this ledge, this edge, not ledge, this edge to line up with this edge and then obviously the same of that will line up with that one. So let's again, for the wriggle room we will use the multi-purpose. There we go. So take that over and pop it down just going to make sure that I'm happy with the bottom and the top before I press down firmly and then the next thing to do or the last thing to do is to add our little flower to go onto there again I'm going to use a tiny piece of glue like so oops a bit too much there pop that down in the corner and if you've got any spare bling we can pop one in the middle of our flower there so I'll get my pointy tool come on you that's it and that can go just slap bang in the middle there like so and that is today's card so once all the coloring is done it's actually quite an easy card to do so there is the uh, completed card and there is our sample so i hope you like those um, as i say i will be back on wednesday with our second in this week's stamp set of the week country birdhouse but don't forget tomorrow there will be the video from jenny for you to have a look at um, so hopefully you will be able to log in for both of those um, so whatever you do for the rest of the day stay safe happy crafting and i hope to catch up with you very soon take care